Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another amazing video for you guys. So it's the first day of the season, you guys can tell by my start points and I am super, super excited um, for the start of it because I think it's actually the start of a new chapter. I think it is the beginning of the Poco meta. Now let me talk a little bit about the Poco meta and why I believe it's going to be meta. Now Poco was probably the second best option. So when you look into competitive or top end gameplay, you'd usually see Jean as a mid and then like a Spike, a Rosa, or a BB even a Shelly Lane, something like that on the sides. But I actually now think, due to Poco's new star power, which now hits the enemies for 1,200 with her uh, with her heal, is actually going to be the best star power besides Band-Aid Shelly. Maybe if Band-Aid Shelly gets a nerf, which I know it will, uh, it might become the best, and I actually think it's going to become super meta. So comps like Shelly, um, BB Poco, Rosa BB Poco, Shelly, Rosa Poco, those comps are going to work super, super well. This is my first game of the season. Besides getting a star key with random pipers on uh, on shooting star, but anyways, we're gonna hop into this. I don't know if it's gonna work 100% because it's literally my first game trying it, but I just have this really strong gut feeling it's gonna. So let's go hop. You know, let's just hop into it. and Let's see what we get. Okay, so here we go into the first game, and we're gonna be facing double thrower Brock, which is also probably a pretty good comp. Uh, but I do think ours is just going to destroy them, to say the least. So anyways, here we go into our first game. And we can take a little bit of shots kind of just to push the back right off the bounce. We're actually already super, super low, so that's not very good. Now, I know I promised you guys I wouldn't be wearing a hat for this video, and there is actually a special surprise coming um, kind of to do with that, but for this video, unfortunately, I have to wear a hat. Maybe tomorrow's won't have a hat. Probably tomorrow's won't have a hat. But anyways, this one is going to have one. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we have the first bot pretty dominating. They weren't able to get a single bolt, and this is where it's like super OP comp comes in they can just go in um they can completely rush and myself using this heal i'm going to be able to hit them and hit the hit the heal and hit them at the same time we're gonna get another heal going so we just gave them like immune life basically we just gave them like an extra 6000 hp while killing the opponents as well while hitting the ike so it's just total amazing value and we literally one pushed and just went off there. So that is why I believe this comp is going to be super unreal. Let's hop into some more games and see if it continues to go like this. I have a very strong feeling it will. Okay, so here we go into the second game. We're going to be facing Mooffaces, who is a legendary cult, like a top five cult all time. He is absolutely insane. So hopefully we don't just get absolutely lasered here. We're facing a bull and a dynamite, so they have a really high DPS comp. So if they get a bot, it's likely that they would win on the first push. So we're just over here trying to keep this bull as low as possible. We're going to be able to stay alive. Uh, we're going to do some damage to move faces over there with our shots. Uh, we're going to be able to juke his shot. So again, we're going to be able to get that first bolt. Or sorry, not that first bolt, the first bot. And we're going to dominate doing so, not allowing them to get a singular bot. Um, unfortunately, ours is only level 2 though. Move faces is, is tapping us pretty hard. We're just going to go over here and hide because, you know, we do want to be alive for when we have that bot. So anyways, Tyrant's doing a really, really great job. Mufaces actually just opened up a lot of the wall, which is going to help us help out us a ton. Sorry. Um, Usain Colt is going to go in. He's just completely going off at the save. Hopefully I stay alive. Okay, I stay alive with 180. And you guys can see, we did a ton of damage, even though our bot died super, super early. Uh, so we're just going to go in here. We're going to hit a few shots. We're actually going to be able to take out Mufaces with our heal. And you guys can see we're basically 2v1ing a bull and a poco. Or a bull and a colt just with a poco. Like, it's absolutely insane now. So we're also going to be able to acquire the second bot. Um, so it's already basically a GG at this point. We're going to hit move faces with that heal. He's going to have to back off. And at this point, it's just a done deal. They've kind of given up on this one. Uh, we're going to be able to pick up the kill over there. Uh, we're going to probably get that heal off. Maybe not. Anyways, it's going to end the game. And again, just total, complete domination. Uh, we're going to be able to pick up the star player there. So this comp has worked out really, really well so far. We one push the first time. We almost one push the second time. Let's hop into a third game. Let's see if we can continue this domination. Okay, so here we go into the third game. And we're going to be facing actually a really, really top end French team. So this is going to be an amazing test to our comp. We do have a little bit of delay, which you would expect when facing a team from another side of the world. So Tyrant Star is going to be able to get that first uh, power up over there. You know, he's a BB, he has faster movement speed. So that is, um, you know, that's something that happens fairly often. Uh, we're probably going to be able to back up that um, that Barley over there. We're just going to go over here. So this has just ensured us that we're going to get the first bolt. Or sorry, not the first bolt, the first bot. Anyways, Usain's going to go in. He's going to be able to pick up the kill on a kill. Pick up the kill on a kill. That's actually pretty funny. It's a little bit of a, of a tongue breaker. 
Anyways, so we have the first bot and we have the lead actually going into the next one. So I don't know exactly how deep we're going to go when it comes to uh, offense here. Just because it's already 40% down and we don't want to go in too much. I think we're actually just going to chill on the outside. Tyrant with a, with a really, really good kill on that Barley. Um, the more kills, the better because that could help us get the, uh, the next bot. Uh, we're just going to go and just crash over here onto that uh, onto the bull we're also going to be able to hit the barley and the penny with our poco heal so at this point we're honestly just completely dominating them uh four to one right now five to one usain's going to be able to pick that or no he's not sorry and i meant tyrant not usain so we're going to be able to get them really really low one ball will be able to get that kill he's not going to use his ball though he's going to plan to save it for our push we're just going to help usain over here a little bit we're going to leave that turret though because I don't think it's going to cause too much harm. We're going to give Usain a little bit of a heal. And he's actually going to be able to take out the turret. So we're just going to go in on the offensive now. Uh, hopefully Usain pops the super. But I do think this is going to be the only push we need. And it is. We're going to be able to completely dominate an absolute top end French team. Uh, they're very, very strong players. Like it, It's really early on in the day. Maybe not for them. It's kind of the middle of the day. But you can already see Akil already has an 830 penny. Literally on the very first day of the season. Like halfway through. So they're extremely strong. GG's to them. Again, we didn't dominate them. But we like kind of did. It wasn't as bad as the other ones. But still, this comp I feel completely overpowered their comp. But their comp is very, very good. So let's hop into a fourth game. Let's see if we can keep it up. Okay, so here we go into the fourth game and again we're gonna be facing that really strong french team and i think they switched to a poco i wasn't sure i didn't see exactly just because i was trying my best to look at the camera but um i think they did okay so now they have a poco instead of a barley so we're just gonna move up right over here we're gonna get them really really low with our poco heal and some shots and we're probably just gonna get a pinch onto this poco so still we are dominating them um they do have a bull which is really really good with the poco but it's just i think the comp i picked was really perfect um, I don't think you can get much better than this outside of incorporating a Shelly with it. Um, it's just super, super strong, and there's literally not much that they can do about it at all. Um, it's just an amazing comp. Tyrant Star is probably going to go back over there and do his best to um, take out that Penny turret. And we're going to go in a tiny bit here, but I think we're just going to end up going back out because we don't want to die a little bit of... Just going in a little bit too far. That's like a rookie mistake over there. I'm really disappointed with myself for doing that. Anyways, we're going to hop up over here as fast as we can. Usain and Tyrant look like they're holding down the fort very, very well. Um, Thumb is going to rush in over here. We're going to get a couple shots off. Really good ball over there. Oh, no. I thought if you auto-aimed, it would actually go towards who's weak. Okay. So it's actually really good. I was able to learn that. So don't auto-aim your Poco Supers for an aggro shot because it won't actually work out and hit them for an aggro shot. That's actually really cool to learn. So we're going to be able to hit both of them pretty well over there. Going to force them to use their heal. And a really, really good ball over there from Tyrant. So we might actually be able to go in and one push. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, looks like our teammates are backing up. So I'm going to have to run back out as well. I'm going to be hit a couple times, but it's not going to be that bad. So we're down one bolt currently. So we just have to win this right here and then we'll be fine. Going to get a few shots off. A heal right there. I'm going to try and heal Tyrant and hit them at the same time. Okay, I was able to do so. So at this point, we are looking pretty good. As long as we can ensure that we get this ball over here, I'm pretty sure it's a win. Uh, yeah, we're going to be fine. So it looks like we're going to win this game, even though they did switch to the Poco. Again, this game isn't really, or this video isn't really about the Poco, but more or less about the comp. And I want you guys 100% to be running this comp if you're playing on this map and many other maps where you think this will work because it's just absolutely insane. So anyways, at this point, we're just going to go all in because we're down 4%, but we only have one bot left, and this is going to be the last bot of the game. So we are likely going to get the win. We might be able to do 100%. I'm not sure. It's probably not looking like it. But anyways, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Actually, you know what? We're going to do one more. I feel like that was a little bit too short. I was thinking about any of there because we usually do four games. But that one definitely was a little bit short because we had two one pushes, a two push, and then that one went the distance. But let's cover one more game. Let's see if we can go 5-0. and We faced some really strong teams so far. Hopefully we can go 5-0 and in the video. Let's hop into the last game. Okay, so here we go into our final game. And we're going to be facing a BB, a Spike, and a Crow. So this is actually really good because BB, uh, sorry, not BB, Spike does actually counter our comp a little bit. At least the Rosa. The BB, not as much. And the Poco, no. But anyways, what's really important when you're facing somebody that counters your comp is you just get your lanes correct. So you guys can see that Usain Cole is on the left side specifically because that spike is on the right side. He's just trying to avoid that. You guys can see the BB 
is trying to focus on that spike. So over here, there's a BB. This isn't a matchup I should take because obviously I'm significantly lower. I'm gonna be able to get a heal out, but it's still either way, I'm gonna lose that. I shouldn't even gone close to that. Anyways, I don't think my team is gonna go in too much unless we get a couple kills here. Um, yeah, so it looks like our Rose is just in the middle. Same with our BB, so we're not planning on doing much here. It's really good to get position and kind of just try and get some kills from the outside because that could help a lot with winning the next bot, obviously. Uh, we're going to get a couple shots. We're only one shot off of our super. We're going to help Usain out a little bit just because his counter is on his lane. You guys can see he's just getting dominated by the spike because, again, the spike does counter him very, very well. We're going to get that heal off. I'm going to be able to heal Usain and myself and be able to pick up the kill. So we currently are winning 6-3. to three. We have two more bolts coming up, but I don't think they're going to be used for this bot, which is actually really useful for us. Because now we have four bolts in for the next bot. So if anything, if our push isn't looking like it's going to go well, we can just fall back and do... And we have the lead and position, so it would be fine either way. So the best move at this point, since we have a lot of bolts, would probably just be to, be, uh, to go for kills. It looks like they're both actually going to go in. Tyron's going to pull out at the end. But to be honest, I think we should be fine even without him. Going to get a couple shots to land there. I'm going to be able to take out the crow and I can maybe get the spike. Okay, I was able to get the spike with the edge of my shot. But anyways, we have full control basically outside of this right side, but we don't necessarily need that side. Um, we're going to be able to take out this BB very likely. We're going to heal ourselves and be able to kill that poke, or not the poke, oh sorry, the spike in the process. So at this point, you know, the, the game is basically a done deal. We have that win. Um, these guys did have a counter and even with that counter, we, we proved that we could win. Um, this comp is amazing. Now, I'm not saying you guys are going to win every single game. Obviously, um, our team does have a lot of skill, but it, I think this comp will give you guys the highest possible chance to win. So let me know in the comment section below. Play a few games with this comp and let me know how it goes, either on this map or many more. Just let me know um, your opinions on the comp, if you think the comp is good, um, what might counter it. Obviously, a Shelly and a Spike might counter it, but I think that's about it. So anyways, just let me know your opinions. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back tomorrow with some more content. I will catch you guys later. Peace.